Hello everyone, it's Friday, it's six o'clock, and it's time for my History of Panto Years. It's Ben's History of Panto Years. Oh, yes, it is. Hello there, everyone. My name is Ben Bryan, and welcome to my History of Panto Years. This is this is my brand new show, but uh, over the next 10 weeks, uh, I'm going to be uh, exploring some of the, uh, the Panto Years that, uh, that our famous stars done, uh, like some uh, decades ago, or something like that. Uh, like, like in the 1990s, or 2000s, or 2010s, and anything like that. So yeah, um, the first episode that uh, we're going to be exploring that is... 2000 to 2001. So, without further ado, let's see who uh, we're going to be uh, exploring first. The first... Uh, panto poster that uh, we're going to see is Jack of the Beanstalk at His Majesty's Theatre in Aberdeen in Scotland. Um, so let's see who might be in it. So we got Sue Pollard, that's Jack. Really? I don't know that uh, ladies dressed up as uh, the men's costumes there. Maybe, uh, maybe we haven't got uh, um, any more men's uh, to play that part there. But never mind, anyways. And look, look who's on the left. It's BBC TV's Otis the Aardvark. Yes, from, from CBBC and of course BBC TV as well. And he is a court jester. I didn't know he was a jester Aardvark. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so, um, uh, so that's Jack of the Beanstalk at His Majesty's Theatre in Aberdeen. Right, the next poster is Aladdin at the Pavilion Theatre in Bournemouth. And let's see who it is. It's Jeremy Beadle. He was the uh, original presenter from You've Been Framed. Wow, and... And he played part as Wishy Washy. Good for him there. Right, who's next? Right, the next one is The New Adventures of Peter Pan at the Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham. And let's see who's in it. We've got, we've got the late Leslie Grantham as Captain Hook. And then we've got Joe Pasquale as Smee. But uh, back in the um, olden days, like the, the 1990s for that, uh, Joe Pasquale uh, has been in every SME uh, that he's appeared in a panto. But uh, until uh, he uh, decided to do the uh, other productions like Aladdin, Cinderella, da 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 da, things like that. So, so we got. So that's uh, Joe Pasquale as SME for that. I think he's a good comedian for that. Right, the next one is another Aladdin, but it's in uh, Alhambra Theatre in Bradford. And then, so we have uh, Canon Abor as the Chinese policeman. And look, Leona Bridges and Sooty. I think uh, these are both from the, uh, the Sooty series. But, uh, it's Leona Bridges really in the city. Yeah, I think that was. Right, next up is Cinderella at the Theatre Royal Brighton. So we got Julian Clary over there. And look who's on the right, Dave Benson Phillips. Yep, that Playhouse Disney guy. And of course that another other children's uh, TV show as well. And children's TV, children's TV presenter as well. And he's playing Buttons. Good on him. <laughs> Next up, it's Cinderella at the Hall Theatre Crawley. And look who's on the left. Nick Weir. Why is Nick Weir there? He's from Catchphrase there. 
And he's playing buttons for that. I hope he's not going to break his foot again there. I don't know. And look who's on the bottom right. It's Postman Pat. Maybe because um, um, some of the children's TV characters uh, um, wanted to do, uh, be on stage for that. But, uh, and of course, we've got Jan Hunt from Cracker Jack as well. And yeah. Right then. Next on the list is Cinderella at the Civic Theatre in Darlington. And Postman Pat is here again. Well, maybe because uh, some of the uh, um, um, the uh, other Postman Pat characters, uh, also the uh, children's TV characters, about to go on stage there. Maybe sometimes they're making another Postman Pat character there. Right, let's let's see who's in it. Well, look who's here. It's Stu Francis. Yes, Cracker Jack. Legend, presenter, yes. <laughs> Next up is Jack of the Beanstalk at the Theatre Royal in Nottingham. And let's see who's in it. So we've got Bonnie Lanford. I think she's from the West End there. Don McLean from Cracker Jack as well. <laughs> and look, those two Chuckle Brothers... From the Chuckle Vision. Yeah, one is alive and one is dead. But it's a late Barry Chuckle for that, but whilst Paul Chuckle is uh, still doing pantos. Next up is Cinderella at the Hexagon Theatre in Reading. And we've got the late Keith Chegwin there as Buttons. Shame that he passed away back in 2000 and. Uh, 16 or 17, wherever, whatever it was. Right, we've got another one here. It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves at the May Theat Mayflower Theatre in Southampton. So, um, look who's look who's playing the uh, the Wicked Queen. It's Lily Savage. But guess who's behind that costume? Paul O'Grady. Yes. Yes, from blankety blank, there and uh, but uh, according to Paul, that uh, Lily Savage will not be returning for that into TV or Panto, wherever it was for that. Next up is at Cinderella at the Churchill Theatre in Bromley, so we got Ross Abbott there, and guess who's back again? Postman Pat. Yes, the third design. <laughs> Next up, we've got Cinderella at the North Wales Theatre in La La I think that's what it was. So, of course, we got Bob Cowgies and Spit the Dog. Wow. <laughs> you might remember. I, I don't know those two, but uh, I think they're both from Tiswas. Yeah, I think that was Tiswas for that. Next up. It's Peter Pan at the Clips Pavilion in South End. So of course we got Shane Ritchie there. And wow well, well, look who's on the bottom right. Sarah Jane Honeywell from CBBS. So she is Peter Pan, eh? Wow. <laughs> Next up, it's Snow White at the Seven Dwarfs. In uh, Grand Theatre Swansea. And we have a gladiator. Well, the original gladiator who's uh, in it. It's Scorpio as the Wicked Queen. Ha <laughs> ha if, ha. If she uh, does that to, um, um, like, somebody like Snow White and other stuff, John Anderson will receive a red card. <laughs> Let's see who else is. Next. Well, what else is next? Ah, it's Aladdin at the Tameside Hippodrome. So, we've got Frank Williams from Dad's Army. And then, wow, well, well, we have another ultimate original gladiator. It's Hunter as Aladdin. Yeah, one of the good gladiators for that. Next up, 
It's Aladdin at Priory Meadow. And uh, another original gladiator. It's Rhino. <laughs> and of course, we got Mark Spate from CBBC Smart. Well, late Mark Spate for that. As Wishy Washy. Yeah, shame that he passed away for that. And look, look who's on the bottom. It's Noddy from Noddy's Toyland Adventures. Another another TV character on stage. <laughs> Next up, we have Cinderella at the new Victor Victoria Theatre in Woking. So we have Bobby Davro on the left. But Postman Pat's back at it again! <laughs> so that's a fourth design there. <laughs> really, Postman Pat? <laughs> so you're just going to drive uh, your van all the way to the theatres for that. Right, next up, we have Aladdin at Cru Lyceum. Well, well, I can't really pronounce that. So we have Hugo Moyet from Nightmare. <sighs> yeah, Nightmare used to be on challenge for that. So he's Abanaza. And then... Wait, Otis the Aardvark? How did you get, get back there? But I don't know. He's supposed to be like a jug of the beanstalk, but... Aladdin! How can I get that voice actor there? But who can do an impression of Otis the Aardvark, hey? <laughs> I don't know. Next up, we have Dick Whittington at the Grand Theatre in Wolverhampton. So, we got Lisa Riley there. You might remember her from You've Been Framed. Yeah, the original uh, You've Been Framed presenter for that. The next panto is Peter Pan at the Bristol Hippodrome. So we got Michaela Strachan as Peter Pan. And look who's playing Captain Hook. Mr. Brian Blessed. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, uh, Brian Blessed looks like that. But one thing, where's his hat gone? He's supposed to wear a hat when you're playing Captain Hook, Brian. Next up, it's Aladdin at Lewisham Theatre. And we got Timmy Mallet there. Who remembers Timmy Mallet from uh, Children's TV, from Timmy Towers? Yeah, I remember him for that. But he's still in the role as uh, Timmy Mallet with his uh, mallet. Next up is um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves at Pavilion Theatre in Worthing. So, wait, Noddy's back at it again. But uh, since Postman Pat has a, a lot of appearances, but now Noddy has a, been, uh, a lot of appearances. Well, a couple of them for that. <laughs> Next up, it's Jack and the Beanstalk at the Ash Ashcroft Theatre in Croydon. Let's see who it is. Well, look who's, look who's playing Jack. It's top... Children's TV presenter and CBB's presenter, Chris Jarvis as Jack. Look at him. <laughs> that that costume uh, looks a bit like Henry VIII. <laughs> yeah, good on him. The next one is Jack and the Beanstalk at the Cambridge Arts Theatre. And we've got Christopher Biggins there. Or Biggins, whatever you call it. He's the... Uh, Panto Dame Legend. Yeah, he's been uh, every Panto uh, for the years, uh, except for the uh, ones that uh, he missed. And finally, we have the Wizard of Oz at the Princess Hall of the Shot. And there's a uh, character from Play Days who's in it. It's Wybirds. Well, it's a special uh, appearances uh, on the stage. I think she, I think you will be as a guest or something like that. So, yeah. Well, unfortunately, we have run out of time, I'm afraid. But uh, if you want to have a look at um, more uh, panto posters uh, in 2000, all the way to 2001, um, it's on the uh, Panto Archive website. So, yeah. Um, so, um, I'll hopefully see you guys, uh, next week, uh, it will be Fridays for that, uh, I'm gonna be doing, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you 
in the next episode. Bye then.